Hi everyone, uh, today we're going to continue our video series on Active Inspire software from Promethean and we're going to look today at how to hide items or answers behind other objects on a page. Uh, if you do not have your browsers open, you're going to need to have those open. So if you've closed your browsers, they're very easy to get back. You just go to the View tab and down to Browsers. Now what I've done is I've placed on this page a treasure chest that I found in the resource browser. I just did a search for treasure and got some of these options so I placed a treasure chest on my page. Uh, what I want to do is to put some let's say I'm going to do a sight word activity where students are going to pull words from out of the treasure chest or behind the chest. So I'm going to put some words on the page some sight words, just a few to to demonstrate. Turn the text tool off with my select tool. Now I want to place these objects behind my treasure chest, but the problem is right now the words are falling in front of the treasure chest. And the reason for that is I placed the treasure chest on the flip chart page first. And there are a few things that I could do to correct that problem. If I click on the treasure chest and get the marquee toolbar, I could use my bring forward button and advance the treasure chest on the page. But there's a quicker way using your object browser, which is the third browser. If you notice on my object browser, the treasure chest is here, and it is beneath all of these pieces of text. So because of that, the pieces of text are going to fall on top of the chest. I want them to fall behind the chest. So what I'm going to do is take and click and hold, and I'm going to pull my treasure chest right up onto the top. It looks the same now, but when I take my text boxes, they're actually going to drop behind the treasure chest. Okay. And I could put as many items behind the chest as I need to. And one piece of advice is if you're going to use an object like this treasure chest to reveal answers, to hide answers behind it, it's best to lock it in place so that when the students go to pull the word out they don't accidentally move the entire treasure chest. Okay, so I'm going to lock it in place and to do that I just need to click on it to get my marquee toolbar. My third button on the marquee toolbar is the object edit menu and when I click on that menu right down here there's a padlock that says locked. So I'm just going to lock it into place and now the treasure chest won't move, but when I grab the words out, the words pop right out. And that is how you can create a page and a flip chart where you have items hidden behind other items and the students don't see them until you are ready for them to see them. 